Two other news we're following for you today. Demonstrators have taken to the streets in the Afghan capital, Kabul, to protest the U.S.'s decision to split the struggling country's funds for other purposes. Last week, U.S. President Joe Biden announced he would unfreeze $7 billion worth of Afghan assets. But the funds would be doled out to reimburse victims of 9-11 and humanitarian aid agencies. More than 9 billion U.S. dollars in Afghanistan's foreign assets were frozen after the Taliban takeover in August last year. People in the eastern province of Nangarhar also protested Biden's decision. The U.S. President Joe Biden made the decision to send our money to charity, but it's not his right to do so. All the participants of this protest urged the U.S. President to reverse his decision because he has no right to do any political deals with our money. We are telling the international community and U.N. that this money belongs to a very poor nation and the conflicts in our country have occurred because of the U.S. war. Biden still wants to put us in more difficulties and the U.S. wants to reduce the value of the Afghan currency. We want the international community and the international bank to give our money to our national bank. We will keep on demonstrating if our demands are not addressed.